Math is by far the number one subject that I get complaints about from college students. It causes people to drop out, it causes people to give up, and in all honesty, it's just scary. So in today's video, I'm gonna share three rock solid hacks that allowed me to finish college math, all of my college math classes in a matter of a couple of weeks, and then I was done with math forever. So I'm gonna share those with you. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. All right, so college math is hard. It's scary. It's, it causes people to fail because it's one of those subjects that we just dread, right? And I'm no exception. I was absolutely terrible at math in high school. In fact, I graduated high school with the bare minimum math requirements, okay? Then, when I went back to college for the third time and ended up earning my four-year degree in just nine months, I completed all three of my college math classes in a week to a week and a half per class, which is a complete drastic difference from what most people go through. And here's the thing. I didn't all of a sudden get better at math. I just found some better ways to approach math and it made it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to share three of my favorite math hacks with you. Okay. So number one is that we need to get over our misconceptions of math. Okay. And here's what I will share with you. If you are bad at math, it's not your fault, okay? So if you're thinking, well, I'm just bad at math. I suck at math. I this, I, I that. That's simply not true, okay? Number one, if you have a bad math teacher, if your teacher's not a good math teacher, math's going to be hard. End of story, okay? So there is a very good chance that you're not good at math because you never got a good math teacher growing up or growing up we have a different teacher every single year all through college or all through all through elementary junior high high school and then college different math teacher every single year okay that makes it hard because every math teacher has different styles of teaching and it's just it's just chaos right now on top of that, when we're young and when we're in high school and we're trying to learn math, we're not really, a lot of us at least, aren't really focused on school. It's not important to us, okay? And math is one of those subjects that if you, if you sleep through a lecture, when you come back for the next lecture, you're left in the dust. You don't know what the heck's going on and you're, you're behind and then you stay behind for a long, long period of time. That's, that's math growing up, right? We have different teachers, some good, some bad. They all have different styles of teaching and we're not that interested in math. So we don't listen and it makes math hard. What I want to tell you is that if you're bad at math, this is a, a misconception. Okay. Math is hard is, is a misconception. And I know that sounds crazy, but here's what I will say as an adult, if you're an adult watching this video, if you go back and start learning math and you find a teacher that you like that's good at teaching and you start learning math, it's so much easier to learn math as an adult than it was as a kid because as adults, we are disciplined and we have we have incentive to, to actually learn things and get things over with more quickly and, and things like that, right? It's not just we're stuck in a classroom for 18 years and we have nowhere else to be, right? We have better things to do. So we're going to learn something and get it over with. And it's a lot easier as an adult because we're more disciplined, right? So that's number one is let that misconception go. Okay. Just get it out of your head. If you're not good at math, it's not your fault. The, the system we use to learn math growing up, it's, it's not, it's, it's far from perfect. Okay. And we rely on all sorts of different teachers to teach us math. And that's just not good enough. Okay. The number two thing I want to talk about is, and I, I briefly mentioned this already, but there are a lot of bad math teachers, okay? And there are also a lot of good math teachers, 
that have completely different teaching styles than, than our learning styles, right? So maybe they're a wonderful teacher for someone else, but not for us. It's math is one of those subjects that you have to click with the teacher or you're not going to be good at math. But here's the thing. We're adults. We're not stuck learning from who we're told we have to learn from anymore, right? We're not, we're not assigned Mrs. Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so. This is your math teacher for a year. That's not how it is anymore. If, if we're in college and we don't like our math teacher and they're not good, we can still go other places to learn math, right? We've got the whole internet at our fingertips. YouTube is an incredible place to learn math because there are literally math teachers that post videos teaching math, right? So scour the internet and find a teacher that you click with, okay? So that's number two, find the right teacher. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is what I call sequencing your math classes, okay? Another flaw of the math system growing up is that we have a math class and then we have summer break and then we come back the next year and we start learning math again. But the way most of us are is if we don't like something or we're not interested, we chuck it out of our brains. So then guess what? When we come back a year later to learn it again, it's out of our minds and we almost have to relearn everything. So here's the thing. In college, let's say let's say you have to take, take three math classes for your college degree, right? Well, what a lot of students do is they'll take like their algebra class this semester and then they'll take a semester off and then they'll take math class, another math class in their third semester and they'll take a semester off or two semesters off and then they'll take their third math class later. Well, the problem with that is Math is one of those things that you just keep learning and learning and adding and combining bits of knowledge together to go to move on to the next step, right? So when I say sequence your math classes is what I'm saying is take one right after another. Now, there's a process that I teach called degree hacking, okay? You maybe have heard about me talk or heard me talk about this before, but it's, it's different. The process is different, okay? Instead of enrolling in four or five classes all at the same time and then being enrolled in those classes for four to six months, you literally can take one class at a time. So instead of being enrolled in four or five, you're literally enrolled in one class. And then when you're done with that class, you move on to the next class, okay? So with math, the something that's extremely helpful, it will literally save you months and months of study time with math, okay, is take your math classes one at a time, okay, let's say you're starting with with Algebra 1, okay, take your Algebra 1 class, get it out of the way, let's say it takes you two weeks to finish that Algebra 1 class, okay, as soon as you're done, move to your Algebra 2 class and, and roll straight into it, okay, and then as soon as you're done with that, move into your next math class and your next math class. That, that way you have math in your brain while you're moving to the next math class. The cool thing about that is, let's say me, for example, my first math class took me about a week and a half, okay? Then my next math class took me about a week to a week and a half, somewhere in there. So in less than three weeks, I had finished two math classes. And then my third math class took me less than a week, okay? So we're talking like three and a half weeks total. And I was done with math for literally the, the rest of my life, okay? That's incredible. That's amazing. Can you imagine all this fear and dread we put into, oh no, like college math. I can't go to college. I have to, like, I'm not good at math. How am I ever going to pass a college math class? Well, imagine you put your efforts in and within a few weeks you're done and those math classes are in the past and you never have to take a math class ever again for the rest of your life, okay? That's literally possible, okay? Now, this last this last suggestion I'm giving to sequence your math class or your math classes, you do have to follow a strategy that I call degree hacking, okay? You have to, instead of the old school college approach where you literally sit in classrooms, listen to lectures, go home, do homework, have pop quizzes, read 
the textbooks, the ugh, everything, right? It's just, we hate it. We hate that process. We hate the old school college process. Well, there's a new process where you can literally just test out of all of your college classes. And if you're thinking, well, how do you test out your college classes if you don't know what you're gonna be tested on? Well, it's simple. You find out what's gonna be on the test, you study it, and then you take the test and you move on, okay? That process is, like I said, what I call degree hacking. If you follow that process, you can sequence your math classes and you can finish math in a matter of weeks, okay? If you'd like to learn that process, the process of degree hacking, I've got a free video. I'm gonna leave a link below in the description. To find that link, all you need to do is tap your finger if you're on your phone, tap your finger on the title of this video, and then the video description is gonna pop open right below, okay? I'm gonna leave a link down there where you can go watch a free video where I walk you through the three-step process of degree hacking, okay? So that you can test out of all your college classes way easier, way less time, way less expensive, and hopefully earn your college degree in a matter of months, not years. It's absolutely possible. If I can do it, anyone can do it, okay? So go down below if you wanna learn more. I'll leave the link down below. I hope that this video saves you a huge, huge amount of pain and stress when it comes to college math because I don't like math. Most people don't like math, but these things, these few strategies are gonna make math a whole lot easier. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more really cool college hacks that are gonna save you a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of money, okay? And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video.